Hey guys, what's up? It's MKC Tech here, and today I am finally back with a new video. I'm on spring break. Last week it was just a really busy week. Um, uh, studying for tests and stuff like that. It's all out of the way, and I am back. Uh, spring break this week, and there will be a video every day of this week. Maybe even more, because I have lots of reviews and stuff to catch up on. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Android device look like a Nexus device. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on a uh, Android device. I'm using my Note 2 for video purposes. Um, but yeah, it just looks really cool and I thought I could share this with you guys. So first thing you're going to have to do is change your lock screen. So for that you're going to have to download Holo Locker. This is free but there is also a plus version if you uh, decide to buy it. That just has a couple extra features that you're really not going to need. Uh, but it just shows you how to... Um, just a couple uh, minor settings and stuff like that you can mess with, but just after you install it, open it up and click Enable Holo Locker. Um, and if you want to put your uh, security lock, uh, go ahead and do that. But yeah, so after it's all insta installed and stuff, you have that three mode: the unlock, the Google Voice, and then the uh, open up your camera, take a picture, and it all works perfectly, and it just looks really nice. After that, um, you're going to have to change your icons, and to do that, you're going to have to download something called Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher is a really popular launcher that a lot of people use since of the price. It's pretty free, and it just does a really good thing with your uh, device. So just download Nova Launcher, and you'll be all set to go. Um, it's free, but there's also a $5 one, which is uh, $4 one, which is pretty insane, and I don't really... I don't really think it's necessary, but yeah. So after you op install that, you'll also have another app that is installed with that called Nova Settings. After that, go to Look and Feel, and on Icon Theme, click on Stock Jelly Be Stock Jelly Bean. Uh, the default one is Touch Wiz and stuff like that. So after you've chosen that, you can see that all the like your default apps are kind of changed, and it looks more of that Nexus 4 style with the new versions of Jelly Bean and stuff like that. So that just makes it look pretty good. Uh, so the last thing you're going to have to change is your keyboard. And to do this, you're going to have to download something called Swift Key. And this is the only thing out of this whole setup that has to be paid. Because um, the free version is a trial. It's like a week or something. And at the time of this voiceover, I actually bought the $4 one. But yeah, after you have that, just for instance, you need to type something up. I'm just going to go into eBay. Um, it's just gonna, I forgot, I haven't messed with this yet, but just search it, and you can see that it has a totally different theme, it's, I like it, it doesn't look as much as, like, a Nexus 4, I've seen it, and stuff like that, but, yeah, you should just switch, just, um, s uh, keep swift key, and then, yeah, it has the swiping feature and everything like that, so, yeah, it works perfect, um, and, yeah. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribing just uh, tells you if uh, be notified of future content, liking just helps the channel out, and commenting tells me what you guys think of this video and if you're going to be guys getting it or not. So, peace out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.